We are back here on Summit Sunrise, Summit Sunrise and I am joined <laughs> with Adrian from Arapahoe Basin. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for coming on. <laughs> and I'm excited to talk about what's going on up at the basin. But yes. first, we need to talk about the ski and ride report and the weather forecast. Yes, um, it was looking as of yesterday like it was going to be a little bit sunny, but there's something yeah. new moving in, so it'll be well, good. We, got, we do have actually some sunshine to talk about. So let's take a look <laughs> at the ski and ride report here real quick. Arapahoe Basin, you guys are reporting an inch of new snow on a 53-inch basin with 91 runs and seven lifts are turning. Check out ArapahoeBasin.com for more information and Adrian will tell us more in a minute here. And over at Breckenridge, they have an inch of new snow. They have 70, a base of 72 with 175 runs and 32 lifts. Check out VisitBreck.com for all things Breckenridge and lodging information. Over at Copper Mountain, they have a 64 inch base with an inch of new snow with 136 runs and 23 lifts. CopperColorado.com will have all the information you need. Over at Loveland, while they have no new snow to report, they've gotten a ton of snow in the past week. It's a great time to get over there. They have a 61-inch base, 93 runs, and 9 lifts are turning. SkiLoveland.com will have all the information that you need to make your time over at Loveland fun. And Frisco Adventure Park. You can go tubing, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing. Great fun for the entire family. Check out FriscoAdventurePark.com for more information. And we're going to take a look at a live web shot here. It is a gorgeous morning up here in the high country. Oh, and there we are up at Arapahoe Basin. <laughs> you know, I actually pulled over this morning to take a shot of the clouds over the Continental Divide. Divide. It was just starting to be such a gorgeous morning. Excited to see that sun here through the weekend. and It's beautiful out yeah. there. Yep. And it's chilly. It is three <laughs> degrees. It doesn't matter as long as it's beautiful and you're layered up, you're going to have a great time. And your Timberline forecast, if you are skiing and riding today, you definitely want to, sm to layer up smart and probably have a face mask on to protect your skin. The high is going to be 10 degrees. Winds will be out of the northwest at 15 to 25 miles an hour, which will make for a wind chill of negative 11. It'll be partly cloudy and chilly with less wind and drier air. So make sure that you watch out for frostbite if you're feeling chilly, uh, feeling kind of cold. Go inside, warm up for a couple minutes, and then head on out there and you'll be good to go. Around Summit County, the high is going to be 30 degrees. Winds will be out of the west northwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour, and it will be mostly sunny. And your three-day forecast here for the weekend. Tomorrow, Friday, highs are going to be in the mid-30s with lows in uh in and around 9 and 10 degrees with more brilliant sunshine. Even warmer on Saturday, high about 40 degrees, and uh, lows are going to be in the mid-teens, so really nice Saturday, and the same thing for Sunday. Highs are going to be in the upper 30s, and lows are going to be in the upper teens with more brilliant sunshine. So. Uh, we're in, we're in a sunshine pattern for a second here, and I think that we're going we're gonna to enjoy that. You know, I'm going to take it for the weekend. Um, patrol's looking at a storm moving in next week. Right. But for now, sunny Saturday. It's a sunny good, good sunny time Saturday to get and skiing. Sunday. Yes. yes. And there's, um, I was just up at the basin yesterday, and there is a ton of snow up there. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah, we've gotten really fortunate. You know, we've gotten these really consistent you know, three, four inch snowfalls mm -hmm. every day. So we had about a foot, a little over in the last week. And, you know, it's a, it, it, and that's what we needed, man. We wanted winter to come back. And we're heading into our two snowiest months in March and April. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, th there's more ahead at the basin. Absolutely. Well, and I think that you, you hit it right on the head there. March is Colorado's number one snowiest month, followed mm -hmm. in a close second by April. So, and it's weird figure. sometimes up where we are, April actually beats March by an inch or two. So oh, it just kind of depends on the season. Yeah, I mean, really, spring comes very, very late where we are. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> you have to get used to the seasons up here in the high country because it's a lot different than other mm -hmm. parts of the nation here. So, yeah. um, And what's going on at Arapahoe Basin, your children's center? Our kids' center. I mean, yeah. if you've uh, been to the basin at all in the last couple seasons or checked out the webcams, you've mm -hmm. seen the construction on this new building. Yes. And this is our kids' center for kids in our snow sports lessons and programs. Mm -hmm. It opened on Tuesday That's for very business. very exciting. Yes, it was earlier than we expected, and the building is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So if you have kids in um, our snow sports lessons, full yep. day or half day, mm -hmm. or maybe they're in one of our multi-week programs like Extreme Teen or Kids Club or Apaho, cool. this is where you want to drop them off they can get their rentals there they Perfect. have lunch there they can keep their gear there during the day this is really just a place for kids to call their own oh perfect 
perfect. Well, and you know, actually, I took a tour of it yesterday when I was up there. I poked my head in to check it out, and they have their own kitchen, too. They do. Um, mm -hmm. We actually have a new chef, too, who's come up, mm -hmm. um, who uh, Chris Ryback will be working with, and he'll mm -hmm. be working under Chris, and he's um, really developing some new, fun, and healthy options for the kids to have, because when the kids are in their full-day lessons, they sure. have lunch, so right. it's really nice. It'll be, a, you know, a bit of a departure from the dino nuggets and fries. We'll just have kid-friendly, <laughs> good options for them. Well, uh, that's no surprise, and there are some um, photos, too, of the Kids Center, um, but that's no surprise because the food at Arapahoe is so, so delicious, and um, the Kids Center is beautiful, it's new, and there's half-day and full-day lessons available for kiddos as well. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have a kids half day, um, kids full day lesson. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for an affordable way to get your kids on the mountain, mm -hmm. A-Basin is, is the way to do it. We Excellent. have this awesome program called Four Lessons for You. It starts mm -hmm. at $2.99. Okay. It gives you four fully transferable lessons and that's you know, two ninety nine for right. four, lessons four lessons for anyone. So if you right. have two kids, mm -hmm. they can each take a lesson on the same day. You know, it's just we want kids to be coming back. You know, those Absolutely. A-Basin diehards mm -hmm. and polyheads are having kids of their own now. Right. So we want their kids to have such a good experience like their parents did. Well, it's, I mean, Arapahoe Basin, it's, it's tough to go wrong anywhere up there. So, and this weekend is one of the reasons why we love it up there so much. What's going on this weekend? So, sunny Saturday, March 7th, <laughs> uh, New Belgium Brewing is coming up and they're having their second annual New Belgium Mountain Adventure. Okay. And it benefits the High Country Conservation Center. Yep, so HC3. It's a full day of a scavenger hunt with New Belgium, which means it's Super fun. There's crazy costumes. You go all over the mountain hunting down answers to these clues. Cool. It's ten dollars per person. Okay. You Affordable. can have teams up to four people. Okay. And you just spend the day running around the mountain. And you come back with your clues. There's amazing prizes to be won. Okay. There will be a prize drawing and giveaway. Nice. Um, kids of all ages can actually participate in this. Okay. But if you're a grown-up kid over 21. A grown-up kid. I yes. like that. <laughs> <laughs> you get two New Belgium beers with your $10. So. Oh, well that pretty that, much pays for itself, exactly. doesn't it? Well, that's not hard. You guys <laughs> make it really easy. That sounds like a lot of fun too. A great, like, fun way to get out and check out um, parts of the mountain that maybe you might not otherwise, you know. Uh, otherwise see, yeah. yeah. It's a great way to do it. You know, it's really, really fun. Um, HC3 will also be up there. We've mm -hmm. got a raffle with season passes and skis and a snowboard mm -hmm. and, you know, come up, donate, check out their booth, check out what they do up in the county for, you know, keeping things sustainable. And it's good. It, they do a good job. They really mm -hmm. do. And, you know, it's outreach and education and what the HC3 also focuses on and what we've worked a lot with with them is taking things that are really easy to do at home mm -hmm. that are sustainable and just, you know, better ways to live your life that, you know, you don't have to spend a lot or you don't have to go too far out of your way. It's just a lot of good information. Perfect. Yeah. Well. Adrian, it sounds like a lot of fun. Where can we find more information on the new Kids Center and this weekend's treasure hunt? Uh, from <laughs> everything events, snow conditions, Kids yep. Center, ArapahoeBasin.com. All right, excellent. Well, folks, make sure that you check out ArapahoeBasin.com for everything that you need. And next up, we have the pet of the week. And this little guy, his name is Skeeter. He seems like he would be a perfect mountain dog up here. He likes to hike. He's good with kids. He's good with cats. He's, he looks like he's pretty much an ideal pup. So we'll be back um, with the pet of the week. Thanks, thanks so much for coming in, Adrian. Thank you.